All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh boy, we got the bronze Trindamir, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. All right, after this one, I do have to take a lunch break. So don't hate me. Don't hate me for that. Bronze Amir, yep. Do I have to take a lunch break after this one? Lunch break. OP. Trinomir vs. Yasuo. Fun, fun. Should be easy for you. This is a free game for an experienced Trinomir player or a bronze Trinomir player with decent mechanics. This is free. Slow down. First criticism. Slow down. You have established that you will be pushing this lane. You've also established that you will be building your fury regardless if your opponent wants you to build it or not. He's not stopping you from building fury. The only time that Trinomir should be doing this quick attack speed shit is when your opponent's actually sitting in the lane with us and threatening that he might auto us or try to trade with us early. So we want to build up fury so we can trade back and we don't get shit on early. Trinomir is a beast though with fervor and good good decision making you should probably be able to beat most bronze silver gold players 1v1 level 1 anyhow now you build up your fury look at you slow it down the reason why I say slow it down is because you want to be able to all in somebody this is our level 2 all in space this is a, this is that space right here from here to here well technically from here to here the more you push the more your opponent will play backwards, right? He'll hide under his tower. We don't want that. We want him up at the front, chilling with us. The only way we can ever kill him, level two. So the more distance we have to play with, the more likely we're going to be able to get that kill. So slow it down. We've already established that we'll be hitting level two first. There's no need to rush it. Now look at you. Look. This is why we slow down. How are we going to auto him? In a perfect world, what you would have done is you would have said, you would have autoed it once and went, Yasuo might be in that bush, right? But I've autoed it once and I'm in position. If he shows up, then I'll auto some more. If he starts acting like he's going to hit the creeps, maybe I'll auto it. If he doesn't touch him, then maybe I won't touch him. So, because you do that, you've moved the lane all the way to his tower, and right away we miss our level 2 opportunity. And yes, I do want players pushing the lane. I like when they push for level 2. Just know the difference between pushing for level 2 and making it so it's impossible to get any value out of our level 2. Also, do not waste your spin on the minions. You want to be able, because what's, what's going to happen is when Yasuo shows up and we've cut the lane in the middle, we can use our spin to pressure Yasuo. Thanks, Ariel. Yes, level two is key in low elo. That is very true. As you can see, League of Legends is a race. In low elo, newbies be feeding every which way. Someone's going to die down here. This guy died down here. You got a Gragas ganking you already. We missed that opportunity to kill Yasuo level two. Gragas cheese gank. If we would have killed Yasuo, we might turn level three be able to kill him too. Who the fuck knows? But it's a race. That's why we got to play the early game very, very smooth and play it like we're going to kill people because you will. You started chickens second. That's wrong. Start Q second and take Q third. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to basically divert my opinions of the Trindomir masters here. The boxer Pete's and the fogs and I don't know, there's probably a million other Trinomir one tricks that have at least made relatively high elo that will agree with me. Take W level 4. Q is very good level 2 and 3 for very good early game damage and cheesiness. And then you could just use the level 4 chickens if you need to slow somebody later on and reduce their AD. Trying to trade in minions, that's why that trade does not go your way. Don't extend the trade. If you miss the chickens, don't do it. <clears throat> no chickens, no dickens, dude. So here, 
auto, you want to whittle down people as Trindamir too from time to time. The beauty of Trindamir is that most people can't kite. A good Yasuo, you know what a good Yasuo would do? He would start pathing back as soon as you start stepping forward and would be ready to cue you. And then if you if you spun to him, he's going to E through you and back into minions. Or he could juke you through your minions or whatever. Bad Yasuos always give you the free autos because they don't know how to kite. So you walk forward as Trindamir. You go wham. Auto attack and then E right after. So it's auto E and then you E this way. And the goal is... It's Trindamir. This is like standard Trindamir shit. You're going to hit him with both the auto attack damage to break his shield and then the E damage and then you're going to take no damage yourself and then you can chill for the next rotation. Thanks, Copy Elite. <laughs> Appreciate it. Smile, keep it cool. Here, I don't know why you back down. Why are you backing down? What does this do for us? You're scared that Yasuo is going to beat you up. Walk forward, auto the or try to auto the creeps, and if he gets out of line, auto him and spin backwards. Try to get a push going. Try to get a push going. You're very close to level 5, and if you can get a push going, he can't trade with you. Damn it. I hate this. We should be crushing lane. I did a, a Jax, uh, it was like Trindamir versus Jax demo that went on the YouTube channel that people really enjoyed. Um, one of the key takeaways from that demo was the auto attack E. A spammable, very hard to play against ability that works very well into newbies. One of the best ways to trade on Trindamir. Auto attack spin as soon as the auto goes through you e backwards if There's anything you take away from this lesson my friend and I will pull it up at the at the very end of this I will pull up a fucking a Practice mode or whatever. We'll put a practice dummy in and I will show you As stupid as it sounds and as obvious as it sounds it is a pivotal like important part of playing Trindamere Auto hit somebody with the e damage and get the fuck out Every time you can do that, you can manipulate the lanes. For slow elo players, you pretty much always get a lead. And that's also how it's it's very important on Trinomir because it's also how you attack people under tower. If you push somebody under tower, they got a big pack of minions under the tower pushing, you auto and then E away back into your lane and then you avoid tower damage. This all in, I don't know what kind of drugs you're on when you do this but watch you're gonna spin onto him aren't you why 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 would you commit like this why not just go bam motherfucker spin back why do you have to commit in this way you didn't hit him with the chicken so there's no slow 
You're not poking him down. You're not guaranteed to kill him. You're opening up room for him to outplay. You're opening up opportunities from the E through minions, E through minion, E through here, E back through, then E through you, and then he's out and he's just did a fucking break dance on you, two step. He's got the cardboard out and he's just listening to fucking. I don't know what they listen to when they break dance. I'll see you dance, sucker. That shit on, uh, what the fuck? You got served. You don't want to get served. Keep it short. Yeah. And this won't happen. As for your ult, he's not even touching you. You panic. You fat finger it. Why do you fat finger it? Because you're trying to do too much. Think about your actions. Think about the trade. Be like, I'm going to tell yourself I'm going to auto and I'm going to E. What's he going to do? He's Yasuo. He's going to mash his keys and go whoosh, 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 whoosh. All right. Plan it ahead. Now, here you get ganked because you waste your ult. Shouldn't happen. Should have forced Gragas to at least try to flash for you or something. Should have eat away. No. Should never have to flash here. Another mistake that newbie Trinomir's player newbie Trinomir players make. Your E goes about this far. I'm I'm playing off of uh off of experience here, right? Newbie Trinomir players, they don't auto E and when they E, they never seem to lead with their E's. So, this is your E penis. Your E penis is this big. Watch. Tell me I'm lying. Watch your spin. Why is it that short? You got a short dong? Why? What you should be doing. E penis should be this big because that's about the length of the Trinomere spin, right? You should be eing to there, right? You should be eing through him and then cutting him off because he's gonna obviously he's gonna want to escape to his tower. But you do a little, little rant, rant, itty bitty spin. Plan ahead and don't be doing these little short spins. Short spins should pretty much never be happening unless it's a spin to secure a kill. Because sometimes you'll see Trinomir. Because you would have never had to flash if you'd spun right. Here, Yasuo is about to TP. Level, s well, I'm sorry, level eight, not level six. Level eight, I can't draw an eight. Versus level seven. Now, you should be standing right here because you have minions, right? Fundamentals. We have more minions than him. We have a greater level than him. He just died. I'm full HP. I have my ult. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You should be standing right here. He's going to go bloop. I'm a Yasuo. What up? And you're going to go bloop, auto attack, auto attack, E, or just AAE. If he's going to dash three, you should be able to auto attack and, and spin down or spin out or whatever you fuck you wanted it. But you don't even touch him. Why? You his friend? Jesus. Go get him. What are you afraid of? Gragas was dead. What are you afraid of? Auto. Auto him again. 
auto him and then E back through the minions. W's about to be up. Are you going to pressure him? Here we go. Nope, we're not going to. How about we push the lane in back if we're not going to pressure him? How about that? Because he's got, we've got 1,400 behind. We need to get that gold into the map, right? Who boy. Please back. Please back. Please back. This is like wave number 18. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. The waves just keep coming and we just keep not backing. That was long, dude. That was like forever. You have 2K now unspent. Should have backed it a long time ago when you had enough for zeal and put that into the map. It needs work, dude. So, <clears throat> let's talk about why, why and I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really happy. I like replays like this because in my opinion, the first, you know, half of it is where you, you need to improve 100%. It, it looks to me like you are, you are making so many mistakes in lane and also, the cool thing about like bronze, silver, gold, all those elos, you have so much you could do right out the gate that could just improve your, your win rates. Like, so, so much shit. This flash is garbage. The reason why this flash is garbage is because this Yasuo is dead to rights. He's fucked. And by fucked, I mean if you do nothing but push this wave as soon as it gets to the tower, or as soon as it leaves the tower, if you do nothing but push the wave into tower, your creeps are going to crash under the tower and then you can calmly walk over auto Yasuo wait for his dash press W and walk in the kill easy money it would take him a lot of effort to outplay you and you'll have your ult so even if it's close you'll win anyways and you won't even probably you probably won't even have to flash instead you flash before any minions hit the tower so you're immediately tanking tower aggro before you even touch the guy which is wrong, because what if you spin and missed? What if he flashed himself, right? I know he doesn't have flash, but what if he, you know, what if he did? You don't even know if he has flash in this position either, because it's been so long ago. So it's just an unnecessary waste of flash. It's a messy dive that you could have waited for the tower to aggro minions first, and then go for it. Calmly walk up, auto him, and then E. Like, that's the theme of the replay, dude. Auto E. Stu's just disconnecting. Your ults are very early. You'll develop that confidence over time. Nice, you escaped. That was kind of cool. Staying to hit the tower, right? No, he should. He should be. No, he should definitely be hitting the tower. 
Because he can get out. Because it's easy as Trinomir. Alright. So we're at 18 minutes. Um, you're going to think me a dick. But uh, we're going to pull up something. I'm pretty much over this. And don't, like I said, don't think of me as an asshole. All I'm doing here is I'm just trying to give you... Stuff to think about, dude, because your laning is really bad. Your laning is so bad, the rest of the shit doesn't matter. And that is a good thing. It really is. It's a good thing because that means you can very quickly improve your game, honestly. Very, very quickly improve your game. Uh, training, practice tool. This account has all the champs on it, so we're going to use this one. Uh, Why don't I have sound? I guess I have it muted. Uh, here, we'll do this. Just do that. So, um, what really needs to happen is for the newbies, we have to show the newbies what the fuck is going on. Um, the moves, like Trinomir is a very easy champion, but there is some, there is some things that, or there is something, there are some things that you need to be doing like cleanly just like with any champion regardless if Trinomir is easy or not and there's so many Trinomirs that don't know what the fuck they're doing where the fuck where's the little target dummy okay I didn't say anything about anybody other than I'm the best and I can coach everybody better than everybody and I'm the, I'm the best and that G Bay sucks and Wicked sucks and LS sucks and I'm the best okay so look here's your problem okay look how far your fucking spin goes I'm gonna max this oh I don't have my indicator well, watch how far it can go cool thing about E Where's my cooldowns? Cool thing about E is no matter what, if you just max out the di like say you want to go maximum distance. Right? Max distance. Never do this shit. Little diddly spins that we talked about, don't do these. They don't do anything for you. In lane. Okay, now, this was the other thing that you really need to improve on is this as the auto hits you need to be spinning so here it is hear how that sounds how it sounds smooth see that and then if you wanted to max out the range auto spin that's the shitty one right you don't want the shitty one you want the full spin Nice and easy. Trinomir's animations are really nice for this type of shit. So you can do them pretty easily. This is important and it looks obvious to some people that play Trinomir. Right? Some people play Trinomir like duh, but some people it just doesn't click with them. And I don't know what it is, but this is the difference between good Trinomir and bad Trinomir. Bad Trinomir always does the shit where they go diddle, right? They just like kind of diddle the minions. You want to get range on your shit every time. Anytime a trade's going your way, instead of just going, oh, I want to do a little extra damage, you need to use that E so that you get behind people so you can follow it in. Um, but yeah, what else? Also, like, harassing people under tower. If we, like, bully a bot, I don't know if he'll let us. But as a rule, 
you can push, like, once you get people under tower, I don't know if this bot will let me just push him under tower, he's gonna be a dick. And I don't, I don't even know if the bots hug the tower. But I don't want to wait for someone to get into my fucking game. So, say you're facing a newbie, right? You're facing a bronze player. Bots are pretty much bronze players. That's how you'd harass under tower. Auto spin out. That's what you have to do. And you have to be good at it. That's like a core mechanic on Trinomere. How are you ever going to dive, pe dive people on Trinomere? You can't just 100 and owe them flat. That's not how Trinomere works. You shove them under tower. Here he is, fucking around. Tank maybe one tower shot. You come back in. You know, you'd wait for your cooldowns. Maybe he runs away from tower like an ape. I, I don't know. But the point is, it's auto spin. And yes, you should be practicing it. Because your auto spin sucked. And you had little dinky spins. And you push the lane without a reason, and you weren't like th those. Those core mechanics need to happen first. All the other shit, I could coach you all day. I could say, oh, you know, you should split here, do this, do that. You need to win on Trinomere, bronze, silver, gold. You need to win those lanes. All right. Now, I hope this helps you with your trend to feed. And the next time you are coached, you better be fucking gold. Because once you're winning lanes is trending me, the rest of the game is easy mode, I think. I think once you get leads on trending me, you start learning like, oh, I can push, I can take camps, I can get big, I can farm easy, and farming's half the battle in those brackets. Alright? Sneeze, still bullshit gamer. Hope you like trending me, coach. I'm out. Please crack. Thanks.